Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda's Ease in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and I have some wonderful specials for you today. I want to tell you a little bit about what I think is happening to many of your families, and that is graduation. <laughs> I know last night I almost threatened my grandson to uh, put his picture on here, and he said, no, nah, don't you dare do that. <laughs> but I am um, a wonderful, proud grandmother of a uh, eighth grade graduate. Uh, he was a super honor student. He had like five uh, top honors and he is uh, now a, will be a freshman soon to be in high school. I have a couple of others that have already graduated and some that will be graduating next year. So graduations are a plenty in my family and I'm sure they probably are in yours too. And one of the great things that we have found people love about graduation are these sewing machines. The Burnettes are just a unbelievable, um, good, strong little uh, machine for people to take with them to school, to college, to their friends, um, boys and girls alike. We find that the guys really love these. They like fixing all their stuff in their shop. And they, I, my grandson, one of them even has one right on the wood block that he's doing because he does things with the uh, leather and straps and their motorbikes and whatever else they have. So um, the reason I'm bringing it up is not just for graduation, is because they're on sale. And they are a limited, I believe they're 10% off, isn't that correct, Nick, across the whole board? But off the sale price. But off the sale price. So you can get um, Bernina with this, it's got 15 stitches, it's got that beautiful buttonhole, Burnett and it will be $249. Now that's a fabulous, fabulous price for on sale, correct? With 10% off. With the 10% off. 10 off. Oh, 10% off of the 249 Oh, that's even better. <laughs> so they really, really are getting a phenomenal um, price on these because they're already sale priced, and that's for a very short time. Does that end quickly? Do you know the end, the end of the month? Yeah. So you really do want to take advantage of this. There's uh, I believe five machines in the whole entire ensemble and you can choose either one of them and, or any one of the five and you can definitely get that 10% off. So don't let that bargain go. It is just a great machine for, um, you know, somebody who's getting into this and they're probably not going to do a lot, but they want to have a good quality machine that's going to really keep them um, happy with it and, um, you know, helping with whatever they, project they want to do. So speaking of projects, uh, last week, and if you do get our videos and haven't had a chance to look at it, we did a really fun little video on a, um, a little purse wallet, a little coin thing with a zipper and a little snap on it. Uh, we put Velcro on ours. And many people, um, thank you, by the way, for all of you. Do you know we sold out of the kits the first day? I mean, we've never seen anything like it. Now, we are making up new kits because there were so many phone calls that my staff said, we'll make them up. <laughs> and so um, they, I believe they've got like, I don't know, a few left. I mean, few that they made up. They have more cork coming in uh, today or tomorrow. And so within the week, they will have the kits made up again. And the purple one that I was working on, that sold out the first, and we are getting more purple in. We're getting more blue, we're getting more green. But what I wanted to show you, um, you know, I, I, one of the things that I feel very strongly about is that we have various levels of um, sewers that see these videos, which I'm really passionate about. I don't want to, uh, to have my audience just be all advanced or all intermediate or all, um, you know, beginners because we want that mix because we learn from each other and I learn when I'm hearing what your questions are and what you want. So what people had said to me is that I love the, the advanced people were pretty much able to take the kit and do it on their own. Then I had many of, of you both from the club and members that are going to see it in the club and members that are you know watching it on Thursday morning ask me, would you just show that magnetic snap? I don't know why that became, I, probably because it's easy to put in, but there are some technique and it's fun and it looks good. Um, I have one here that I did that is um, it's a little orange one, and you can see by the color here, maybe you can see it up here, it blends in real well with the uh, snap, so it's hard to see, but you can see on here, does this work a little bit better? Yeah, 
and then you can see it can snap it and it will close. And this seemed to be um, a really big one. So what I'm going to do today is show you exactly how to do this. It's very simple. I can do it in five minutes. I did mark some of this ahead of time. Now this could be for any project that you're working on, a quilted bag, a um, you know, a cotton fabric that you're doing, maybe a dress even, you want to put a snap on it in some way. It's not the snap that closes with it. And I'm do, going to do that in another video. This is actually a magnetic snap, and I think it's one of the easiest to use, and I think it's the prettiest out there. So I took the, the wallet flap, and I marked the center of the... Um, you can see this with my clover pen. And in, in order to find the center, of course you can measure it, but I've, I, you can take it like this and crease it and you'll get the exact center. But if, and you can see I did that on the, on the red one too. This is cork, this is leather. And what I did on this one, and I, again, I wanna preface this again with start with the cork. The cork is the easiest to use, it's the most forgiving. Uh, you'll have the least amount of issues. And then when you've done a lot of cork, if you've got some old leather or you find some somewhere, uh, you can go ahead and go and do the cork one, uh, the leather one. But very definitely make at least three or four of these corks before you go on to a leather. So then I just found that crease and I took my clover pen and I do like this when you're doing it. Oops, you can see I just made a little bit. And what's so great about it is you can, if you uh, made it a little bit thicker than you want, you can go back and redo it. You can take an eraser or your thumb. I like the um, the little pens. I have a box of lots of little goodies that I keep. And I like the little, um, I'm gonna step out of the studio for one second and grab, you can still hear me, I think, one of my favorite little things. <clears throat> and that is the um, one of these. It's got that little eraser on the head. It's a little, um, look at that, how that comes off right away. And that's, uh, this is actually a seam ripper that uh, doubles as a, an eraser if you've been using chalk and you want to um, get the line straighter or if you've made a mistake and you want to change it. What the goal is on here is to find the center point for each snap. And that's what I did. This is this luscious chocolate brown suede. This is the right side. This is the wrong side. And here's the right side and the wrong side. This is the flap of the wall wallet, like this. This is the flap. And this is the pocket. See the little pocket underneath? You can see what's a real simple thing to do. And so we want those snaps to meet together. And in order to do that, you have gotta find the center point of where you want them to be. Now, on this particular one, this is you want to find the center point of the bottom, and that's what this is, because I'm putting this snap, if you look at it again, underneath. I'm not putting it on top, you see? And that most of the time, that's what you would do. You'd want to figure out where your snap is going to be. And I usually put the snap part on the top and the um, channel where the snap goes into on the bottom. Now, I found the center point on the flap, and once I found that center point, look at these cute little snaps. I just love them. I'm gonna pull the, well, maybe the mustard one will show up a little bit easier. And they have a little metal backing, and I'm gonna put that little metal backing right on the center, exactly on the center point. And then I'm gonna take my, I love this pen. It's a bone, or bone, however you say it, it's a French. And you can see, I'm gonna, where these little openings are. This is where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna actually cut those two little spots there. If you can see them on this dark, I think it's showing up a little bit easier. And you're gonna take a real sharp scissors, or if you happen to have an X-Acto knife, you can do that too. And I'm just gonna go in there, right on the top, and this is real easy to do with a scissor. And I'm just gonna cut it, and I'm gonna cut it here on both sides. And then that cut is exactly where this snap is going to go through. And of course, I, I like to do it from the back side first to poke it through. You can see I've done that on this already, so you can see what I've done. And on the front side, you can see I'm gonna pull it out again. I've already cut these. I'm gonna put this, these two prongs into the cuts 
and then this is the wrong size. You can see this is exactly the center. And I always try to make sure they match up so that I know that when I flip it over, the two are gonna come together very easily. And in order to do that, if you have two pieces, the one, like this is the bottom of where the snap is gonna be. I like to put the top one a little bit um, further away from the bottom length, like an eighth of an inch. And then that way they snap together better. Now, what are you gonna do with these prongs? I've got it on the pocket too. And this happens to be a cover of these snaps. I'm going to take that off so you can see it. Isn't that great that they make these little covers that protects them while they're um, being um, shipped and whatnot. And now I, I did the same thing on this one. It might be a little harder for you to see because I did do it in white. But let me see. I, I'll just go over it again if you can see. That's where the center point was. And then I did the two little lines where I snipped it with my scissor. Or if you have an X-Acto knife, like I said, you could use that too. So I have both the flap ready and I have the pocket ready where the snap is going to attach to. Let me show you that again so it's not real confusing. This is the pocket. This is the base of where the snap is going to go into. And this is the top that snaps close on. You can see that? Top, bottom. And this is the top and this is the bottom. So now I know I have them in there perfectly. I know on the two pieces here, um, my little pocket, I don't know where my pocket went, but I do have, uh, oh, right here. Okay, so we have a little pocket too. And you see another little tip that I'm gonna show you that is great for lining up is I've got the two points right here and right here where I know that that's the center of my snap. And you see how they line up perfectly on the, and pull it right up to here and see how the, the they're going to line up perfectly with the this cross point and this cross point this cross point and this cross point and again this you see how the pocket is a little further up than the flap so the base is a little further up when I put it in like maybe a, an eighth of an inch maybe about that and then this is about an eighth of an inch um, closer to the edge now, what are you going to do when you have these prongs up? You're going to get one of these hemostat or, you know, Tulip Pink makes one. I think we, uh, Teresa, aren't we going to put that on sale? Did I hear that? Yes, we are. Good. <laughs> okay. And there's a little um, piece in the middle that holds them together. And what you could do is you, now most people have a tendency to want to flip these to the center, correct? Isn't that what most people show? Well, we're not. We're going to flip this to the back and flip it over here to the back. And that way it's nice and smooth. You can even do it with your fingers. And you're gonna have a real nice smooth snap on there. The same way with the one on the pocket. We are gonna take those uh, hemostat scissors. These are real ugly ones that my husband happened to have in his, uh, in his toolbox. And I used it, I had to clean all the oil off of it. But the, um, the tulip pinks are so pretty, and they wouldn't give me one because we're <laughs> really short on them. So uh, if you want one of the tulip pinks and they are on sale, you better grab them. And that's all there is to it. They're flipped out. Oh, sorry. See, even I make mistakes. I love it. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Come on, tell me somebody out there. And that's why these hemostats are so great. You can easily push this back. What did I forget that's in the package? Voila. See the nice little backing? Now, because this happens to be leather, it's gonna be real easy to um, do the backings on here. If it were a very thin fabric, the cork probably won't need it, although sometimes I do. I will put over and above this, before I put this little base, which is like a, um, I don't know, those of you in mechanics will know exactly what this is called, but it is a piece that, that stabilizes the back of the snap. I would put a small piece of cardboard on here. I'm not doing it on this because it's very heavy and I really don't have to do it on this. But if I had something very lightweight, remember that beautiful Italian that I showed you? I put a base on there and I don't know, Nick, if they can see the inside of this, but on this pocket, I'm gonna try and flip it out. This was vinyl and see how I did put a little piece of cardboard in between the um, base and the uh, snap. 
And that cardboard just gives it a little bit of stability. It's a very lightweight cardboard. It's not a heavy one at all. On this particular one, like I said, I don't need it. So I will just go ahead and flip that back out and flip this back out. I'll put that one on later. And now what I'm gonna do is you see how this piece, this snap is perfectly aligned to the bottom because this snap is going to go, this is going to be the base. And again, I'll show you in here so you can kind of see it. This is the pocket like this. You can see how the, the flap has been lined up right close to the pocket, which is gonna happen here. And then I'm gonna stitch all the way around this flap before I sew it on. And then I'll flip it over and you can see that this will be perfectly aligned. It's hard to do it when you don't have your, your uh, clips here. But do you see how that pocket will be, that flap and that snap will be perfect on each other. Again, I'll flip it out and you see, flip them back in and they go together perfectly. And just like this, your flap, go back down. I know I'm repeating it a lot, but I think it's really important. The other little tip I wanna give you um, that I think will help you a lot with this process is the, um, the rulers. Um, I love a smaller ruler. I know there's even a two by six, I believe. It's great when you're first measuring a lot of these pieces. You don't want too long of a ruler when you're trying to measure and go over that. Um, this is the Quilter Select and it is, um, there's a six by something, but the other one I love is the big square one. I know I don't have that here, but you do want the big square one if you've got them. And I believe they're on our website and I think they're on sale. So I would encourage you to look at them. A sharp little scissors is important. You could do an X-Acto knife if you want, but gotta be careful with an X-Acto knife because sometimes you can go too far. Whereas scissors, you just get in there and make one little clip. So I think we are pretty well uh, ready, um, finished for the day. I just wanted to make sure that you don't forget about this graduation gift. And it doesn't have to be graduation. It can be a friend, it can be a wedding gift. Um, I'm known in my family as <laughs> the sewing machine lady. <laughs> and they know if they're getting married, they're gonna get a sewing machine. So this is the perfect time for you to get that gift together. It's on our website, it is on sale, and I hope you'll take advantage of it. So. The code is 2022. Okay, 2022, that's easy to remember. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I hope you look at our clubs too. They are, oh, they're such talented people that are working on there. I get to do them every now and then. They don't let me do them all the time, but uh, they're really fun. And uh, just enjoy some of these videos. Thanks again, have a great day. See you next week.